Welcome to another edition of The Road to Recovery. Today we'll be talking about recovery among diverse populations. So individuals uh, from diverse communities uh, have unique and special needs and um, it's very important for the providers and services systems to understand some of those and to take the time to learn about some of the differences uh, that come that are represented by diverse populations. SAMHSA has supported a network of community-based organizations where we are acknowledging the, the value of the indigenous knowledge and the ways in which communities are solving problems and supporting people that live there. One of those positive things that we can do is really turning to the culture and asking the community what works for you. Many of us were trained in ways that are not in a that aren't necessarily bad, but don't work for our communities. So it really is a very positive thing when you ask me, what works for you? There's many pathways to recovery. There's not just one. And I think that is a good way uh, to reach out to Native Americans by this identification and connecting and, and, and kind of pointing them in the right direction. Don't be afraid to have these hard conversations about race. In 2017, it can be really hard to do that. And that's okay. You don't have to know everything, but you ask. How do, you, how do you see yourself? Is, is Latino the correct word or is there not the correct word? How would you like to be identified? Do these boxes I'm asking you to check make sense? And if we start at that place of deference and respect, we're on the path. If we remove culture from the program, we are only treating part of the individual. We're, only, we're, we're compartmentalizing what that person is and we're not looking at them in a whole, as a whole being. Mm -hmm.